How you doing guys? Just Deep here from Just Review. So happy new year. So this is my first video in 2021 and hopefully this 2021 will be much better than 2020. We all know how that year was but finger crossed for this year and hopefully I will be able to make much more content this year. So I want to start with the versus video which is Sony Xperia 5 Mark II versus HTC Desire 20 Pro. So both phones are very good and I really like both of these phones and these two companies are basically trying to come back into the phone industry. Um, as you all might know um, that Sony Xperia and HTC used to be a very big player in the game but now they are kind of uh, trying to come back hopefully with this phone and similar kind of phones they will be able to come back and we will be able to see much better version of this phone and much affordable versions of these phones HTC is already very affordable I bought this phone for 265 euros and this phone was on contract but if you want to buy it then you can get it for 660 euros nevertheless a uh, great phone both have a stock android android 10 android 10 here also uh, xperia 5 supposed to get android 11 in last december but still haven't got it yet um, surprising thing is that xperia 1 mark 2 already have got it uh, even though that phone was released before this so let's start with the speed test uh, even though we know xperia 5 is going to win because this has qualcomm snapdragon 865 processor and this one qualcomm snapdragon 665 processor so budget processor versus flagship processor but i'm doing the speed test just to know uh, and just to show you guys that the difference between two stock Android is not that much even though the processor has a big difference okay first of all I'm gonna start with restart uh, so that um, you can see the booting speed of both of these phones okay so let's restart So this uh, trying to come up um, quickly than Sony, but I think uh, Sony is going to boot up a little faster. Just to let you know guys, uh, I have this phone more than six months now, I guess. And I can see the micro scratches on the screen because uh, this have only uh, Gorilla Glass 3. And I did see a very small chip on the backside also. But overall, this phone is very durable. It fell down many times, even though it's very, very heavy phone. But still nothing happened because it's plastic built overall i would say it's very sturdy and this phone is also very sturdy and i let it fall many times and i got a little bit uh, small chips here and there but nothing major damage happened yet okay so as you can see uh, xperia 5 is fully put up and has to see actually took its time and now it's fully put up so uh, we are back to the main screen and as you can see if you slide on the right hand side then you can see the news so google news is basically much better than the apple news because it basically shows you news related to your search history and whatever you actually like to search on your chrome or youtube so let's do the fingerprint test also uh, which phone has a faster fingerprint let's turn it off and Okay, as you can see, it's almost same. So basically speed is very, very similar, but uh, you have to be a little bit accurate in placing your finger on Xperia 5. So let's start with the speed test with all these apps, which most of the people use day to day life. So let's start with the clock. As you can see, HTC still have that old style clock which used to come in the HTC phone. 
calculator is the same and XP a little bit faster. Calendar, XP a little bit faster. Settings, XP, Play Store, XP again. YouTube, almost similar. Map. Xperia much faster, drive, Xperia again, YouTube music, Xperia, Google photos, Xperia again, um, talking about photos, I'm going to show you the actual photos which I clicked from both of these phone, similar photos of one object, but two different phone and you will be able to compare the video and uh, camera quality uh, from both of these phones. Netflix. Music again Amazon Xperia Prime Xperia uh, Stadia uh, just in case uh, if you don't know about Stadia is basically a cloud gaming services and it's actually very good at the moment and um, I do have a very good speed of internet I will be running the speed test of internet later on but uh, just wanted to let you know about uh, Stadia at the moment it's free and you can play many games for free for one month and even the PUBG is available let's see let's play PUBG Gonna check for the internet connection. This is the actual version which you find in Xbox and PlayStation and PC also. So um, you can see it's breaking up a little bit, uh, but overall experience I would say will be okay. Um, I think the Wi-Fi speed for um, HDC is not that much good, um, maybe because of that it's breaking up at the moment. So let's close this and open it in Xperia. So speed was good and let's open it in this all right and okay it started up very quickly okay it's going into my So even in Xperia, it's breaking up at the moment, uh, but I usually play in my iPad and iPad receive much faster Wi-Fi than the phone. Uh, so yeah, it doesn't give me any problem. But if you do have a good internet speed, then I would suggest you also uh, try Stadia. It's a good thing. So let's start with Instagram now. So Xperia, Facebook, Snapchat, so in case you haven't followed me in Twitter, I have the same name, uh, just review and you will be able to follow me and I have TikTok account also, you can follow me there also. Hi, how are you? Hmm. So now I'm going to launch some games. Um, 
voice is popped in. So battery low for Xperia. Uh, just to let you know guys, Xperia has a gaming mode also, dedicated gaming mode and you can do many things in there, it closes. So Xperia is ready to go and then HTC is also ready to go. Yeah guys, so A65 processor does show the potential in launching the games. So I'm gonna launch Call of Duty now. Um, just to let you know guys, uh, Xperia 5 Mark II is the official phone for uh, Call of Duty. Uh, this is the first phone which uh, in which you can play Call of Duty in 120 frame per second. No other phone can do it at the moment. So now um, Call of Duty. Hopefully it wouldn't ask for any update. Uh, I recently updated both of the phones, so let's see what happens. Also you guys, you can let me know how do you like this kind of uh, aspect ratio. 2119, is it any uh, interest for you guys? Or would you like to play or watch videos in this kind of aspect ratio? For me, uh, this is very good uh, screen ratio. Uh, I would say watching Netflix and Prime is a breeze on this screen. You can see it in full screen. So both game have launched so Xperia much faster. Um, so now I'm gonna run Geekbench test. So Ender 10, Ender 10, Qualcomm Snapdragon, you can see. And run the CPU test. Just to let you know, um, I think HTC is going to take long time as compared to Xperia because Xperia is much faster because of the processor. Two hours later. Okay, so the benchmark test for HTC Desire 20 Pro is also finished. So it's a big difference in the score, uh, plus it took its time. A uh, little bit extra time because lots of things are running in the background that puts a little bit effect on the performance also so this is the score uh, and that's kind of obvious and now I'm gonna run this application where I download all my wallpaper from this app is actually very nice so yeah experience launched it much quicker and all the wallpaper you need to download for your phone you can do it much faster and uh, you can apply it for you too and very nice app so in the end it's a speed test for Wi-Fi okay so Xperia was much faster so I'm gonna run the test first on X um, on HTC let's see how much megabyte it can get me for download so it's going much nicer uh, i have um 250 megabytes of download and um, 30 megabytes of upload so uh it's not too bad uh, my wi-fi box is basically downstairs and it's still receiving good signals Okay, so it's gonna give me at least 25 almost. So this is a score for uh, HTC and then let's go for Xperia. Ooh. I'm not sure why it's giving me this lower score. Uh, maybe I would need to close this app then it might be a difference. So upload speed might be a little bit better. I'm gonna run the test again to see, because um, it's kind of not reliable all the time. But yeah, um, gonna run it again and see what happens. So upload speed is similar, but download speed went down a lot. So let's try one more time. Okay, it's so the same result. Uh, I'm not sure why this is the case. Let's see which server this is getting. 
So this is getting uh, IP Telecom and this is getting 3 Ireland. Maybe that's a problem. Uh, let me choose IP Telecom instead. Alright, let's go. Okay, I think uh, it's not performing at the moment good. It might be some uh, disturbance or something, but yeah, at this place and on this time, uh, Sony Xperia is getting beaten by HTC with the Wi-Fi speed. Even though this has Wi-Fi 6 and this is, is like a little bit lower, maybe Wi-Fi 5 or something. But yeah, so this was the result and now um, I'm gonna show you the dialer. One of the guy was also asking me um, how is the dialer for HTC. So it's basically same uh, as uh, Xperia, stockish. The old kind of HTC dialer is gone. Uh, now messages, very similar. So Xperia a little bit faster. So I'm gonna launch OpenSamsung.com. Xperia a little bit faster. Uh, Xperia again faster. So now I'm gonna open camera. Camera has a little bit similarity too. Uh, if you go like this and go like this here, then you can launch a front camera also. So um, let me show you some settings. Uh, this has 16 megapixel camera and this has 8 megapixel camera. Front camera for this phone is not that much good. So you can um, launch, uh, you can do 48 megapixel uh, picture also, but that's not for the selfie camera. Let me switch to video. I made a dedicated video for camera for Xperia 5 also you can take a look in my channel as well. Um, this has very nice rear camera, all 12 megapixel different focal lengths but very good camera set. This is not that much good. Now I'm going to show you some uh, camera sample. Um, this one is very good in the stabilization but this isn't. But overall performance for the camera for HTC is not too far away from Sony Xperia. Uh, but um, very shaky and overall not pleasant. Hey guys, how you doing? Testing a front camera from HTC and Sony Xperia 5 Mark II. Let's see how is the RAM management if I'm going to open some application. So what should I do? So let me see if PUBG is still in there. Okay, PUBG is still in there. Uh, so same here. So now we're gonna see if Call of Duty is still there. Very good. Uh, I didn't expect um, HTC to have a good RAM management, but it is very good. Um, just to let you know, this has eight gigabyte of RAM and this is a six gigabyte of RAM. Uh, let's see more application if they are still in the memory. Uh, so this app, if we will be able to see. Okay, so yeah, RAM management is good for both of the phones. And what else we can 
load here as you can see um, the battery went down a lot on xperia 5 and the refresh rate is gone very low i, I think it might be uh, 15 frame per second or 20 frame per second because this has adaptive uh, frame per second uh, and it can go to 120 frame per second also so this running as well too and this phone is basically a battery champ if i don't use this phone and leave it on standby it can give me almost a month on standby that's really crazy and if i use this and i can easily get two days with the sim on with the uh, moderate usage two days no problem for this phone this has 5000 milliampere battery and this has 4000 ampere battery i thought the battery is going to be very good but if you put it on 120 frame per second and always on display all the time then it's going to basically need charging in the end of the day but now i use it on 60 hertz and always on display only when i pick it up then it gives me a little bit extra battery backup almost like one and a half day with full charge uh, charging is also good with the default charger and uh, overall I'm very happy with both of these phones and now I'm going to do the last test which will be uh, audio test so I'm gonna play this song Rise from um, from the game called League of Legends maybe you're familiar with that so let's do this So hopefully you can get the idea from this uh, song and yeah the audio quality on Xperia 5 is amazing it has dual audio speakers and uh, sounds amazing and much louder and much clearer uh, this isn't bad either only one speaker in the end and loud enough but nothing compared to Xperia 5 that's why Xperia 5 is the best one I think from 2020 even uh, the youtuber from india c4 etech um, mentioned in um, mentioned in someone else's video that that his uh, xperia 5 is his uh, best phone um, the shame is that this phone wasn't launched in india i'm not sure why they couldn't do it overall very good phone this one too and um, do let me know if you have any questions about these two phones i will be able to answer it and one last video i'm going to make about xperia 5 mark 2 when the android 11 is going to come that will be all so thank you very much for watching and have a good day bye